In this video, we'll look into the basics of ESP32 camera module. So this is an ESP32 camera module, which has a 2 megapixel OV2640 camera. The ESP32S microcontroller has 32 GB IO pins, but in this module, most of those pins are used internally by the camera and the PS RAM. Hence, only 10 GB IO pins are available. It also has a built-in LED flash. The components are present on both sides of the PCB. Looking at the back side, we can see the ESP32S microcontroller, which supports Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth connectivity. The reset button has an onboard PCB antenna. It comes with a micro SD card reader with which you can store data up to 4 GB. For comparison, this is an ESP8266 module which has an USB port for programming, but there is no such port provided for programming this module. So for programming it, we need to use FTDI module. You can check out the links to all these components in the description. For powering the ESP32 camera module, we have two options. One is 5V and the other is 3.3V and we can select any of them with the help of this jumper. Now moving forward to the connections part. Connect the grounds of both the modules with the help of this jumper. Now connect the VCC of this FTDI module to the 5V pin of the ESP32 cam. Don't connect it to the 3.3V pin or you would end up destroying your module. Connect the TX pin to U0R. and Rx to U0T. To put the ESP32 in flashing mode, we need to connect the GPIO 0 pin to GND. For the new viewers to this channel, I recommend you to visit this channel and if you are an electronics enthusiast then this channel is just a perfect place for you. Now connect it to your computer. To 
check whether the USB is connected to your PC or not, you need to enter the ports section in the device manager. In my case it's connected to COM7. Now we need to install the ESP32 boards in our Arduino IDE. For that go to files and check for preferences. You need to copy paste this link which is given in the description here in the additional boards manager URLs. After that go to tools, boards manager. search for ESP32 and install it Now select the board in ESP32 Arduino. Look for AI Thinker ESP32 Cam. In this video, we'll look at the example code for this module. For that, go to Examples. In this section, Go to ESP32 Camera Camera Web Server Here you have to specify the camera model Comment the ESPI line of code and uncomment the AI Thinker one Enter your Wi-Fi credentials here. After selecting the board and the port to which the board is connected, hit the upload button. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor and set the baud rate to 1,15,200. Now just disconnect the jumper between the pins GPIO0 and GND and hit the reset button. Make sure your device is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as that of the ESP. So as you can see in the serial monitor, our camera is ready. Now copy paste this link in any web browser to connect to the web server. So as you can see this is the camera web server. This web server has many settings to play with but we'll just focus on some of those. So now I'm setting the resolution to VGA since that works best for me and just click on start stream button. So to flip the screen we have to click the V flip button. If you set your resolution higher than VGA, the video would lag more. You can also apply some special effects like grayscale and negative. I hope.
hope you have successfully programmed your ESP32 camera module. If yes, then make sure to like this video. That's all for this video guys. Thanks for giving your precious watch hours.